Okay, for this Gomer info video, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak or otherwise hack your 1.1.4 iPod Touch. All the credit goes to Link Sock or something. This URL. While it's downloading, I should show you that you will need to plug your iPod in for this. And I'm going to show you that it is not a jailbreak version. See, it's a 1.1.4. 1, 1. The method I am using does work for 32, 16, and 8 gig. For 32 gig, it may get a little weird, and it might, your iPod may freeze up if you install um, not recommended software, software you don't need. So I would recommend to install Boss Tools first. I'll show you when it's done finished um, being jailbreaked. As you can see, I did pay the full $20 when I was being a really stupid person. And just bought it off iTunes for the upgrade. So I felt really stupid after that. And yeah. All credit of this goes to Link. Oh, whatever. That, that, that guy. That guy right there. All credit goes to him. Okay. Not me, it's not me who discovered this, I'm just showing a simpler way on video, because all he did was just do slideshows and crap, so yeah. And your war your warranty will be totally up as soon as you, st as soon as you click. Okay, look. Your warranty will be totally wiped if you do this. Your warranty will be totally wiped as soon as you start. It shows you that it's a free software and everything. So I'm just going to close this and show you what you need to do so we can get that little icon off. Find where you located it or where you saved it to oh I'm sorry I can't seem to find where I saved it oh yeah Okay, it has opened. Since you are using an iPod, you do not need to use jailbreak activate, prepare for upgrade, or anything. Maybe prepare for upgrade. But first thing you do is you choose your language. And you choose your like you can choose your theme. You click jailbreak. Searching for the Apple devices. It will reset. It will go into recovery mode. As you can see, iTunes has detected it. You can just close iTunes off if you want. And it may do some scripting like this. That is perfectly normal. That's perfectly normal. See, as it sees, it is normal if white text scrolls on your phone. The process takes more than three minutes. Something is probably wrong. Just checking the disks. See, installing the base applications. And 
I'm on the camera, so I'm getting going dead here. So I better hurry. See, as you can see, it's restarting. It is going. Oh yeah, and this is a free software. If you pay for it, claim a refund. Okay. Just wanted you. Okay. Let's see. As you can see, you got two icons. If you you will want to remove this as it does take up space. So you just hold. Right. Okay. Hold an eye. Okay. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay. Hold an application. Ah. Oh. It's kind of hard with one hand. Oh, what the? Okay. Okay. Okay, this is pissing me off. Hold an application like so. Okay, it's not working. Okay, there. When they start wiggling. It, I'm not, it probably does not work on installer ZBase box. So you click the little X there to delete that. Icon. Yes, you would like to delete. Click the home button. Okay. Just close. Close this stuff. iTunes is detected. Uh, just click OK. want to cancel that sink oh it wants to add just, I'll just cancel the update donate later uh, okay first thing you want to do is install boss tools It says it comes from an untrusted source, but it is perfectly, it's perfectly virus free, this application, no, nothing. See, it will do this and every, when you install. You'd like to relocate everything. Relocate your... Hmm, you can be able to look at it. Okay. Okay, you should relocate the fonts. You should relocate the fonts, then the ringtones, then the applications. And that is how to jailbreak your iPod Touch and whatever the little naked sock. That, this guy. Yeah, he made it. Yeah, just go to his. Just watch his video. I'm not sure how um it will change it for you, but I think mine m is much more simpler to follow, and it is longer. I'm sorry, but you might even be watching this on your iPod Touch right now. I'm not sure. So goodbye.